Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine, reporting to you here today from beautiful Monterey for the annual conference of American pistachio growers. One of the featured speakers here was Craig Carlson from the UC Cooperative Extension. A farm advisor wanted to talk specifically about, uh, you know, we talked about some new varieties. You've been doing some great work on getting some new varieties out there to the industry. Obviously, it takes some time before they go commercial and then even longer for them to all be producing but we've got Golden Hills it's been out there it's been it's already started producing for the industry and wanted to just you know as, as more of the growers gauge interest in in this variety what are some things they should consider as far as the pros and cons you know every variety has those right so yes I, I I'm I'm beginning to take up the the cry that there's no such thing as a perfect cultivar no longer <laughs> we, we plant something in large uh, quantities and large acreages over larger areas and we did the original trials we discover other things uh, uh, first of all I'd like to say that this this these Golden Hills is the product of uh, not just me but my previous uh, farm advisor in uh, Kern County uh, Joe Moranto and uh, Dan Parfit the pistachio breeder he's, a, he's emeritus now in uh, mm. UC Davis so I like to put that out anyway but uh, getting back to your question we're seeing a lot of things, and uh, there are certain things about Golden Hills I loved. It's an easy tree to grow. It's got a, a short bloom period, which translates into a short harvest period. So a lot of times we just need one shake. Very upright growth sometimes makes it less pruning, maybe a little more training initially to make it branch out, but less pruning later. Uh, we're starting to see a few negatives as well, I think. It doesn't hang on to its leaves. They tend to go senescent uh, earlier than, say, Lost Hills, which is sort of a sister variety to Golden Hills or Kerman. So. Right. Uh, in addition, we seem to have more problem with the, um, the tree splitting at the crotch of the tree where we get those primary branches coming out. So we may be able to address that with the not shaking them some, so hard, some other things. Uh, but uh, I think we've got something like 85,000 acres of Golden Hills as of last year in the ground, which is, which is a lot of trees. We have a very good acceptance. So some of that's grower spread, you know, spread, word of mouth spreading. I don't, I don't can't take credit for that. <laughs> uh, so where do you see these plantings going in? Like where, as far as environmental conditions, does it maybe do better in? Uh, yeah, we, I, I, I wouldn't plant it if I had a lot of boron in my irrigation water. It, 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 we tend to see uh, early defoliation. Uh, so actually, I guess with most pistachio varieties, the better the soil, the better the product. But right. it, it, it's fairly salt tolerant as far as sodium and chloride is concerned. We don't see much differences, but it is more sensitive to boron. And this thing was born and bred in Kern County, too. So it, it hasn't got a lot of experience in the wetter areas of California. So we may see more problems with alternaria, uh, leaf blight and whatnot than, than we see with Kerman. Oh, okay. But overall, uh, we've got some industry-wide acceptance of it, and yeah, yeah. The biggest advantage is that it harvests two weeks earlier than Kerman in identical locations. So, uh, this is a tremendous advantage in terms of the industry. So, if they don't have to. If we all planted Kerman, we'd have. 85,000 acres that. more of Kern, which it's all, it matures within about a month of each other, you know. And so, our harvesters are already too busy as it is. Oh, this is still a big issue, even with Golden Hills. So I think this is a, the number one advantage of Golden Hills is the earlier harvest. Great. Well, thank you, Craig, for all the your efforts and the efforts of the UC Cooperative Extension. Read more about these things in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.